day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. So, hey, children. Morning. You, you missed out the video. Morning. <laughs> you missed the video. I started at 10 in the Hey, hey, brother, brother, Addison, what I saw was in there, the uh, seeds. You saw this, you saw that the guy referenced seeds in there. You know, he wasn't using the, 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 the scripture, Christian scriptures, but he was showing the Christian principles of seed. Mm -hmm. and this stuff was planted all these, you know, you know, thousands, hundreds of years ago. And, and the other piece was it was planted because of capitalism. It was all about the money. Right. And they just tried, every, I think all this racism, I like that, that, that man that was stabbed to death, he said, you're not born with it, you're born into it. You know? Right. And, and, it's, and the sad thing about it is, it's, um, it's, it brought me to say, the concern I have is that uh, it's, it's gonna take seeds of Christ, the Word of God, to plant in to to override those those that I guess you call the wheat and the tar. Tar. We, we, we got We're gonna have to keep planting and sowing. The old brother Addison uh, parable I had started to throw those seeds all those places because so many seeds have been planted of hate for all those years. You know. Uh, but one of the things I was talking about, and, 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 and Chris may like it may not, is this. I feel I wanted I want this video to talk about. I'm concerned. Here's the title. Let me go for the title real quick so you can see it. One second. Okay. Who is C4? That's Chris. Okay. <laughs> What a what a name! Cause I'm gonna blow it up. I'm blowing everything up. The title, the title I have, <laughs> the title or the concern I have is our generations of haters teaching haters to go to hell with them. Now, I may not put them and say hate hers, but it's generational haters teaching others to go to hell with them. May that be better instead of saying hate hers, others to go to hell with them. Are they bringing their children? Come, you know, I like what the guy was talking about the seed, right? It was a seed planted, right? That right. seed was planted all the way back to the beginning of the slave trade. And, 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 and if the teaching, it was trying to give a justification for the atrocities of slavery, right? Right. And and my point is, if if you you know like every seed produces out of its own time, and if that's the case, and now that you can correct me wrong, like I got in the scriptures, if uh, the Bible said that he who hate is a murderer. And there's no eternal life abiding in that person. If that person is teaching their children to, to have the hate that's in them, are they not teaching them to not have eternal life in them? Here's the point. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it makes sense, but I mean, that's obvious. If you ain't teaching Christ, you know, there's only one way. There's only one doorway. There's only one road. Right. There's only one mediator. Yeah, but you know, the thing about that, the reason I, you know, I guess I want to bring out the fact is some of these people claim they are Christian. You see what I'm saying? They, they come into, they teach their children, they go through the motion of being a Christian, saying that, you know, in the, in the church and so forth. But at the same time, teach hate. 
Well, some some of them, uh, they don't teach hate. They just enjoy the fruits of uh, of being Caucasian. They they enjoy the 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 fruits of of racism, and they're not, and they don't even see that the 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 favor that they have in society. They well, don't see they don't see the difference in their the lives and in the lives of, of I beg of, the difference. They all know it. If they kid no. that person's over the age of dog on ten, they know it. Well they may. They may. And I'm saying some, but I don't I don't think all of them actually realize it until they they're they're told and exposed to it. But not not all of 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 them. Well, we, I think all of you right is not all. But what, what I think Chris was saying, and I'm, I'm saying, is that the, uh, the ones who are taught to hate, you know, they they also. Oh, of course. I mean, that's sense. like I was saying. That's 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 obvious. Right. I mean, you can't. You 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 have to answer for that. I believe. Right. It's not a it's not a a, a fruit of the spirit. It's, exactly. it's really not. Exactly. And um, and it may be overlooked, and they may be thinking that it's it's normal because it's how they were raised. You know, like I like I was telling telling you last Sunday, uh, we were we were poor, and I didn't know. Right. You know, uh, we we. We didn't have a whole lot of stuff, but I didn't really know it. My childhood was great, it's in my eyes. You know, yeah. uh, the things that I was was taught were were normal. No, but I'm, I'm no, and I, I got I got the message about you know uh, you can't really do certain things around certain people, right? Because uh, because of your your skin. And that was that was how I was brought up, and that was that was normal. I didn't think anything different, so I'm pretty sure they feel the same way. What what it, the issue I'm looking at is, and I, I see them. I'll see if I can pull up some now. But the pictures I saw where you had almost a whole town out there, and there was there was blacks lynched, and, and and that child is looking, that woman is looking. The whole town is looking at these people who were lynched. And in most cases, they were lynched based on an accusation, not even being convicted of a crime. Yeah. And 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 no different than if you if 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 you caught a mouse and you wasn't scared of it, the family would go and look at the mouse that you're taking outside of the house. So if it's if it's if it's considered less than, I mean that, that all I'm saying is. If you're raised that way, you don't think that it's bad. Oh yeah. And 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 it doesn't mean that it isn't bad. It just that's just their their mode of thinking. So they can think that that one act is is bad, but that they're saved. No different than many other people who are saved who are of color. They may consider fornication okay, and that they're saved. You know, so uh, they may think that uh, drinking alcohol in excess to where it's they're taken to it is okay, you, you know, but it's not. So all all I'm saying is I'm not trying to give them a pass or anything. Right. Right. I'm just stating since since we're talking about this, I'm I'm coming at it as a Christian. Exactly. You know, and and I see I, I I've seen stuff like this. You know, they they're they're. they're that that is kind of hard to 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 even justify as normal. You know what I mean? Well, 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 is is uh, because they do is, say it's is normal. roasting a, is roasting a pig <laughs> any different? Yeah, you eat the pig. <laughs> yeah, one, you do. You do eat the pig. Right. This one is a. It has and the a, pig ain't a human being. And I understand that, but if they think yeah. that you're less than human, yes, then it's okay. Exactly. I, can meet you like I mean, 
uh, I've seen people kick dogs. They just, they, they. I mean, look what Michael Vick did. You know, the people that was working for him with the dogs. We, we're talking. You know, they, they, they use the dogs to fight no different than they use use uh, African American slaves to fight against each other to bet on. Yeah. Uh, and if they lost, they pretty much just shot. You know, because they were they were a means of That's generating revenue. Yeah. and such and so forth. Uh, I'm not giving them a pass no, at I, all. Believe me, yeah, but believe me, let, because let me when I even moment. see this stuff, it, it, it stirs up something in me that I'm trying to pull down right. because I'm I'm trying to focus on the soul. So even, even this whole topic and subject is vexing my whole being, even seeing that picture. So it, 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 it bothers me. I agree. And I'm trying to, to, to live above all of this stuff and work on souls. Exactly. All that's souls I, matter. And that's what I want to talk about. Uh, but Chris, you have something to say? No, I was going to say to uh, Brother Myron, this is the way I look at it, coming up the way I did. If, and like I said, I integrated in schools in the second grade. So now, like you say, everybody sitting there being taught whatever you taught. You taught your rules, white kid taught his rules. Now, you throw us together, everything is fine until the rules cross. And now I got to try to deal with this person, like you said. The white person think that they better than me and they feel that way and that's the way they're taught. But I say at 10 years old, because that's the time them kids start forming opinions. And now this kid has been with me for four years. Now this kid finally figures out and understands that in all actuality, this person might be faster than me, this person might be smarter than me, and this person ain't as less of a human being than I am. But I got one thing on them. I'm white. That is what goes on. And as long as I got, I'm white, I'm better than him. And, and what I want to do on this subject here is, is, is it's not so much of the obvious of what the issues are, it's, it's, it's a part about making sure that the discussion and those who may see it is, aren't you concerned, not you, I ain't talking about us, but those who, what I'm concerned about us that they teach our own children today is the eternal life piece. That soul, you know, you know, that's what you got to say. He who hated his brother is a murderer, and there's no eternal life abiding in him. I, I want to make sure people understand if we teach people to hate, then we also teaching them to go to the path of eternal, not eternal life, but eternal death. Yep. It's, it's taking them to hell. Okay, that's my what? I think you have to teach in contact again with the with the culture, because our culture itself in, in Christianity, if we look at our history, we were not a benevolent. If during the Old Testament, we were like benevolent people. When they went in and, and dealt with the the uh, Canaanites, they were they decimated them. They 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 committed genocide, similar to what the uh, Europeans did when they came to America. Right. If you don't know scripture, you might think that functioning in that capacity or in that manner was still like shelter with God. Because remember, this is genocide was ordained by God. It was actually commanded by God that they wiped the, the Canaanites out. Now, if they perceive when they came over here, the Native Americans run around no clothes on, uncivilized and all of that. If their mentality was the same as that as the, the Canaanites, I mean the Israelites when they went to the Canaan land, it is expected that they would do similar to them when they took their position to justify what they did by saying that God blessed what they had done to these people. So, I mean, it's not so far removed from what we have historically done. But if we teach it in reference to the Lord Jesus Christ, who literally brought a whole new, I mean, the new dispensation and a new way of dealing with mankind, a way of God dealing with mankind, and we bring that into view, and teach it from that frame of reference that makes more sense. But to say that they are so dissimilar from the rest of mankind by cause they murdered folk God would be basically to distort the truth. We've been murdering each other ever since we fell into the garden. And it ain't only a black thing, I mean a white thing, it's a, it's a black thing too. 
in the history of that is evidenced by our, our, our current behavior. We're killing each other in the street still. So uh, we're all murderers. Right. So the concern okay. is teaching people to lose their soul. I mean, teaching a child from the beginning to lose their soul. It, it, yeah, so that's 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 an uh that's a that's an accusation. That that is if you teach that is uh if you teach that's somebody, judging. That that's 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 judging and that's that's not on us to do. Well no, no unless I mean, unless they're 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 saying that I'm a Christian and I'm raising up my child a Christian, then we say, Well, let's look at the fruits of the spirit and see where that falls in. Yes. And and we can we can go from there. Yeah. But I can't just say that they're raising their children to hate black people, you know, on purpose to the point to where, you know, uh You're teaching them to die to go to hell. Say. That they're they're teaching them to, I don't think that their mindset is teaching them to go to hell. Right. I don't think I don't think that, that that's a part and I and most people in this world who are not in, in our family, in this body, the body of Christ, right? They're not doing what they're doing to go to hell. I uh, know. Uh, oh, uh, right. That's called my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. That we we understand that, right? Well, are they are they his people? <laughs> but see, that that's not. But so see, so you you're 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 uh you're mixing your metaphors by. Me. By saying that they're in, and they're teaching people to go out. So wow. if you're in, and your fruits are contrary to what what the word says, then are you really in? So right. that's when that's when we we go to that person, right? And we share the gospel with that person when the Lord leads us there, but. But to go in and, and and go down this path that I think we're we're going, it yeah. just leads it leads into. I think it's 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 not. It leads to the broader way. Well, what, what I, it does lead to the broader way. And, and we need to stay on the road that is narrow. Well, not but see, I, and, but, and focus but, on on Christ because, Pastor, I'm trying to tell you, this. this this, this this path right here, I, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't think this is this is fruitful for us. Well, here's a here's a concern, and I, and I totally agree with you. I understand. I believe that people have been deceived, and if we don't make sure they, there's people who've been going all the way. I see, you know, we talked about stamp from the beginning. We talk about the fact is that they even try to use the church to justify the behavior. Uh, and I'm concerned about, if this is the scripture I was referring to right here, at least one of them. John, first John covers it all, really. Um, but, but uh, y'all, can you read that for me, please? Well, this is the message that you heard from the beginning. That we should love one another, not as Cain, who was a wicked one, and slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? Because his own work were evil, and his brother's right. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. We know that we are passed from death into life, because we love the brother. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murder has become no life abiding in you. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the present. And, and, what, and the whole purpose of that is, I'm trying to reach the, the people who are not the church, the people who are not in the body of Christ, but the people who are in the body of Christ by name only, maybe, because they, they just there checking the box for us. They're told to go to church, but the full gospel is to teach even brothers that we're supposed to lay down our lives for one another, that we're supposed to love one another. And if you're not, if you you want to be in Christ, then you have to abide and teach the things of Christ. 
And if you're raising the child, but you think you're in there because you go to, you know, you go to the church building, and because your parents from one generation to the next generation has been bringing you up into believing that you are a believer, but they're teaching you what we just said, and they're teaching you hate. Let me ask you this question before, before if you go on. I understand that that that, that is basically focused on the house. Uh, we we deal, we're talking to people who are already saved and, and uh, supposedly submitted to Christ. What do you use as a? What do you aside from the scriptures are are the reference point, right? Right. So so we're basically taking our people. When I say our people, I mean members of the body of Christ. And educating them concerning the things of Christ. Exactly. In accordance with Scripture. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, in that. Right. So, so, so you, you, what you're basically saying is that uh, we're focusing on the house right now. The house is not in order. We're the trying to bring the house in the submission to the to the Lord through Scripture. Right. Okay. Okay. But I, I don't want. What I'm concerned about is people like not well, as a truth, they, they may not be saved, but they believe they are. Well, well, Pastor. When you said that, but right before you brought that scripture up, in my mind, for those people, yeah, in my mind, immediately went to. I'm talking about before you brought up uh, First John. Right. <laughs> my mind was like, Jesus died for these folks, so I don't have to. And ironically, that scripture comes up. <laughs> if I die for them, you should die for them too. Exactly. So that put me in check right away. That's how the Holy Spirit works for me. Exactly. I don't know about y'all, but just, <laughs> so as soon as I think a thing that's outside of, of, of what God wants me to do, right. I mean, correction comes immediately. Exactly. Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, but what the Spirit did show me for these people, we, instead of marching out there with Black Lives Matter, we march out there with that sign. Exactly. With those scriptures saying, you know what that scripture says you yeah. you you cannot be a murderer uh -huh. and go into heaven that that is the sign that we walk up the exactly. gospel, Woo, we walk the the gospel yeah. because we're about all souls matter and, and that is my my, my tagline for now on is all souls matter That's it's good. not it's it's in in but i also will say black yeah. lives matter but yeah. as soon as someone says all souls matter. I mean, all lives matter. I would say no. Black lives matter. And if you want to put an all in front of it, then you must say all souls. I like that. All I souls think, matter. I think soul is right there. That and, and it takes your home book. It, it brings your home Souls matter. Because, yeah. because we're no longer focused on the things of this earth. We're actually focused on the things of eternal, eternal, eternal. Yeah. Eternal. Yeah. Eternal. yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, obviously, I put some 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 thought and some meditation in this how how to go forward because we've been talking about this you know how, how are we to to incorporate our lives and our, our lifestyle based on the word into black lives matter and we've just pretty much answered that we are to go forth with the word of god that pertains to these situation and circumstances yeah now uh first john is perfect yeah. for this you yeah. know if if you know of folks inside Ooh. of a a church that is living that lifestyle to where they are uh, saying that they're 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 Christians in the church, but they're outside of the church. You know, they're they're holding on to a uh, to 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 uh, racism or or uh, you know trying to dominate another uh, another human. Yeah. Then those scriptures apply and we are obligated it wow. is out of necessity wow. for us to 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 confront them with that word right there and i'm glad you put that up and uh that that's something that i would definitely write down that, that, and uh that and, and you that yeah. that is that is a oh. weapon of our warfare that we need to be using yeah that, there is a we are bringing the intent of things is to bring everyone to the scripture said that, that the end game is that everybody be brought into submission to the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, go ye to all the world and teach those things 
teach them the things that I taught you. Yeah. So it, 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 it's the authority of one man being established in all of the universe. And so I went, when, uh, when Brother Addison says it was a little broad, the road was a little broad, that's Johnson. In Johnson's thought, it's like when we go to the social issues, we kind of take it out of the, 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 the what do you call it? It's, it's not pinpointing. Yeah, it's not really pinpointing Christ. And without Christ, because I mean, what happens when Christ says, we will rule the nations with a rod of iron? Uh -huh. Or what happens when the Lord said, go into Canaan land and wipe out everything to include the babies, the blind, the crippled, the crazy, and everything. Don't leave nothing on the kill the cattle and burn the field. We are putting our trust in a man. And that man is Jesus of Nazareth. That he is all righteous, that he is all powerful, that he is the restorer of the breach, that he is the Messiah. And so everything that we try to bring into submission, I mean, every aspect of what we're doing concerning other people's lives is to get them to submit themselves. Oh, your 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 mic is muted. You must have hit it. Oh, it, it's to get them to submit to this one man, Jesus of Nazareth. So if we do anything aside from that, it might be toward uh the right end, but does it ever get us there? And if we don't attribute that to him, is he gonna empower the people by his Holy Ghost to accomplish that task? Basically saying, if he can get no glory out of it, why is he involved in it? Or why would he be involved in it? 